Hi guys, welcome to this Gamma tutorial. In this video I will talk about downloading and installing Gamma. I will give you some tips on online documentation and we will take a look at the workspace of Gamma. So the first thing we want to do is to go to the Gamma website where we can download Gamma. It's gamma-platform.org. On the website you can find some information about the Gamma platform. In the top menu you can see all the downloads that are available. I will recommend you to download the latest release 1.7 and here you can find the right download for your operating system. So in the meanwhile we can take a look at some online documentation that is available for Gamma users. I use this all the time um, because it's very helpful to have some documentation on what you can actually use in Gamma because there are a lot of statements that you that you never used before and this is the way to improve your Gamma skills. So the website that we want to go to is gamma-platform.github.io Now on this page on the left side you see the menu where you can find all the Gamma documentation that is available. And the thing that I really recommend you to do if you're a new Gamma user is to do one of the tutorials that you can find right here. The Predator Prey model is very helpful and also the road traffic model is very helpful to understand what you can do with Gamma. So once your download is complete you can click on the zip file and once you have, have unpacked everything you will see this folder if you start Gamma. The first thing it will ask you is to where to save your workspace and this is the place where all your models and files will be saved so once gamma is started you will see this interface it's called the modeling interface and it has four windows of which the top ones are the most important on the left side you see the navigator if you have created some models you will find it in the navigator uh, for you probably you don't have any models right here but i have some models that i made earlier and you can also find the tutorials right here. So let's open one of the tutorials to see what it looks like. We, for instance, open the Model 13, the Predator Prey. It will show right here in the Gamma Editor. And if you have defined an experiment in your file, as is the case right here, you will see that this experiment is also displayed on the top. Now, if you press on the simulation button, the simulation will be loaded and the screen will shift to simulation modes. And the windows that are built in the simulation modes are depending on how you define your experiment as a user. So this differs for the experiment that you define. You can run your experiment by clicking this play button. You can stop it any time you like. You can also push this button to go one frame ahead in time and you can go back to your modeling perspective by clicking on the bottom in the top left corner. So that was it for this video. We've talked about the installation of Gamma, we've looked at some online documentation and we took a quick look at the modeling interface. Um, if you want to know more about Gamma go to our channel where you can find more Gamma tutorials. And I would recommend for new users of Gamma to take a look at the video where I explain how to structure your Gamma model. This is very helpful if you've never built a model before yourself. Thanks for watching.